Hi, in this video, we will have a look at SharePoint list version histories. Here is my SharePoint list called sports registrations. So I have, I have enabled the version settings here. And I created one record here called cricket and I modified that value as well earlier. Okay, let me delete this and uh, show it again. Okay, uh, click on new. I'm going to type here football. Okay, now I'm going to change this. Edit, change football to cricket. Okay. So how to get the previous value using the version history. So if you select this, because I enabled the version history, I can see the version history here. See, first version it was football and the second version it's called cricket. Okay. Uh, so how do we get it? So what we need to do here is we can, I'm going to use the manual trigger here and um, using get items. The list name is called sports registrations. The next thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a compose here and set the version number. Here it is. Okay. So let me run this. So I'm going to call this as retrieve SharePoint list version history okay now I'm going to run my flow now okay flow ran successfully and let's have a look at the version so it should be two here here it is two now so what we need to do next step, the next step is I'm going to use a HTTP trigger here. So for that, I'm going to use send an HTTP request to SharePoint. Use the same SharePoint name here, get. And the, the URI I'm going to use here is slash underscore API slash web slash list slash get by title and the title is called sports registrations slash items inside the, the because we want to get each and every item from the list so I'm going to use that ID there get items from the previous step that's the ID I want and then slash I'm going to use the versions here versions bracket and use the output of the previous step which is the version number here that's output okay that is the version number so let's see what we are going to get ah here we go see that it doesn't like that it doesn't like the I version 2.0 there because it said it's, the string is not in the correct format okay so the reason here is let me edit this okay so what I did here is I'm going to use just the versions here see that so that means I hope I should get all the versions history related to that first record. Okay, so see, because I removed the versions um, inside the version specific one. So this this URL means here this HTTP endpoint slash versions for that item ID two two is my ID for this record. Uh, that means I'm going to get all the versions. So let's have a look. 
So you can see here a couple of things. See that? There is something called phi 12 here. See that? And then that's changed to version ID. See that? 1024. So there's a version ID below also there then, don't you? Let's have a quick look. Here we go, version ID 512. So version 1 means internally, you know, earlier I got the error saying it expect is expecting an integer number. So this is a version ID it's expecting. 512 is the number 1. So that means if you have, let me open a notepad and show you that. So if you got version 1 means it's 512. Version two means it's times, um, you know, uh, two actually. So that's one, zero, two, four. And then version three means, again, five, one, two times uh, three then. So that is one, five, three, six. Okay. Right, so how to get the previous version? So what we need to do here is, instead of passing, you know, the this version number, we need to do a little bit work here. So I'm going to add another compose here. Okay, so what I did here is, I renamed the current version number that uh, you know the combos and the previous version number I use this formula here so let me explain this formula then to find the latest uh, the number so as I mentioned earlier it's an incremental uh, of 512 so version 1 means internally the version ID is 512 for the version hi version history ID is 512 version 2 means the internal version history ID is 1024 like that so this is a formula we need to use here so what we want to do here is we want to subtract then multiply it by the current version number which we need to convert that into int and then multiplying that that means if it version 2 means what will happen here is uh, 2 times 512 then there's a subtraction here minus 512 so that is 1024 minus 512 is equal to 512 that's what we are going to get so that's the previous version then so if it's 5 1 15, 36 means version 3 so that will be like that 3 times 512 that is 1536 minus 512 is equal to 1024 here we go that's the previous version so this is a formula we need to apply it here so I put that uh, the the calculation here for finding the previous number and so compose action step I renamed that to previous version number then the version so finally we can pass this ID here as the previous version number then adding another compose here so add another compose and map the body of that output and I'm going to run the floor now and see what we are going to get All right, okay, let's see then. So the previous version should be 512. Remember, the current version is 2. That is internally, then it should be 1024. That is the version we are seeing here, version 2. So I'll have a look at that here under the version history. Here, here it is, see that? So what I want is I want this version, which I use that formula to find 512, it is internally. Passing that, then I should get football instead of cricket i should get the title as football then so let's see what we're going to get if you go that's the previous version then and that's the id i'm passing there against the item id then that's the metadata uh, the, the output of that 
So let's see then. So that's the version ID 512. Here, here it is. See the title. It's not cricket. It's the first version. It was football actually. So this is the way you can retrieve the previous version values then. What, what the value it was from the version history. Hope this is useful. Thanks for watching.